Hello my beautiful badgers, Messi Coda back again with another Asset Store review. Are you looking for vintage cars? Are you looking for thousands upon thousands of different hot rods? Are you looking for something that's tuntastically beautiful? Well now you've got it with Slava Z's Hot Rod Constructor Modular Low Poly Vintage Cars on the Unity Asset Store. I'm playing about in HDRP and built in today to show you just how easy it is that you can get these beautiful flying cars. That's right, flying cars, armor plated cars with machine guns. Oh my word, with animations, with characters, with everything you could possibly want. Well, sit back and join us. See you all in a moment. Here I am inside Unity playing about with Slava Z's Hot Rod Constructor Modular Low Poly Vintage Carl Asset Pack from the Unity Asset Store. I've actually got two projects loaded. I've got URP or HDRP version rather and a built in version. So we can check out how this looks in both. Currently this is built in and it's normally just shy of 30 euros, 28.94 at the moment the exchange rate on the unity asset store and it's got over 400 modular parts right in this pack as well as i just love this as well as a really easy to use guide i'll show you that in a moment i had to customize these vehicles now they were made to work with Cinti, so they're scaled to work with all the Cinti polygon assets however i'm going to tell you something controversial don't let the Cinti team find out me say this when i say that I prefer these poly characters to the Cinti style. That's right, I said it. I said it. I like these ones. Slava Z, you need to start releasing your own polygon character packs as well. Because I'm going to tell you, these characters are like a little breath of fresh air. I really love them. They're great. As you can see, the vehicles are animated with the doors. And it's not just the, this type of door opening this way. There's some other doors as well that open the other way as well, from the other direction to look really cool. There you go. Just like magic. She's going to go and showcase one for me so you can see what I mean. Look at it again, again. Oh, my word. Oh, I love this pack. I was looking for a hot rod pack. You might think to yourself, where do I know the name Slava from? Well, if you've been getting any bundles from Unity anytime, then you might have noticed that, yeah, you were getting a load of free and discounted packs from Slava in those bundles. So uh, thank you, Slava. Thank you, Unity. That's how I've got pretty much uh, most of slavers assets because yeah they were included in a load of bundles that's not to say it's not worth getting at full price because hey look at these they're so beautiful of course they're worth full price should we delve a little bit deeper shall i do hdrp shall i show you the guide shall i do all these things yeah let's here is the very easy to use assembly guide and to be honest you do not need this assembly guide this is how easy it is if you dragged in the bonnet eagle grill onto your socket that says bonnet okay it's a bit obvious that you've got a socket called bonnet so let's drag in our bonnet to it but he's telling you slava's doing it for you and if you open up the bonnet, you'll see a load more sockets so what do you think's going to get onto the chassis front socket that's right it's a chassis that's the front oh my word it could not be easier well it could if you like, you know, clicked on a, on a WYSIWYG editor that did it for you, but you don't need to, you just drag them in. Come on, don't be lazy. Uh, you got for the wheels, you got the, for the fenders, which we call bumpers. Um, you got down here, uh, attach the bumper front. There, attach the motor, vroom vroom. Uh, attach the motor carb to the socket inside the motor. How deep do you want to go? Exhaust. Oh my word, add some machine guns. That's a bit naughty, isn't it? What are we looking at with regards to the verts? Well, the bodies are around 2,000, 2,700, around there, 2,500, we say for the body. So this is the, the beetle, 
uh, body there. Uh, the Citroen around 2000 at 2200. Um, the a delivery truck. Let's have a look at that one. 2100 there. Uh, the juice. I don't know what that is. I oh, said it's, it's a convertible. We shaved off the roof, so we've saved ourselves 500 verts there. It's down to 1,600 odd. Uh, the Jeep gets a little bit more complex because of this rail. So we're back up to 2,482. If we pop over to the chassis, you can just have a look. Um, the average around 400 for the chassis on there. And if we look at the bonnet for the Citroen. Look at that. Lovely. Beautiful. It's a little face. Who are you talking to? You? 800 verts. These are not what you would call expensive models and they are looking for a downside you know that's maybe it they are not super high def models but they're not meant to be and i think it works in their favor they are beautiful they really are these models here are made to work with Sinti's polygon packs in their color in their scale these are humanoid animations you can get them to work with the Sinti characters I prefer these characters to them I'm gonna tell you that do not harden your edges to make these polygonal you can do you can just harden the edges on these on the normals here for these um, for these models here oh look at it. beautiful but it, you lose something. Part of a hot rod is its beautiful curves. I really do feel like. So instead of, I'm just going to go controversial. Instead of getting this to work with Sinti's polygonal stuff requiring you to harden your edges, I'm going to tell you, pop over to the asset store and try these out with Six Games Toon Series instead. Because I think they would work perfectly. They really would. Maybe the colors on these vehicles a little bit bland here on the demo that you're seeing you know it's these matte greens and greys and creams no not the dynamic bright reds that you'd expect on your cliche typical um, hot rods or bright yellows so that's you know the, the change you would do so if we um, we pop back out of here to be honest I haven't looked at all of the different versions of the textures that we've got over here so if I go to this base here uh, we've got the red let's drag albedo red in there and see okay so there's it's still that kind of matted and I'm gonna blame this down on the HDRP so let's pop over into the built-in just like magic women built-in and if I pop back over to this little fellow here um, no doubt we've probably already got a material here for red, do we? Matt, uh, okay, we don't. All right, we well, gonna make your own. Just make your own. I'm gonna tell you that. Um, so this one here, we're gonna drag in. What's the most vibrant red? This one maybe. Okay, even within the built-in, it's not the most vibrant. Can I tell you that? So that's one thing I'll tweak slightly is make my red a little bit more Ferrari red. Oh, Ferrari red. Nice. Yeah. Would love a Ferrari red hot rod. Uh, where are hot rod? There they are. See, that looks sexier. I would have put that as the default in the demo, to be honest. Let's go with the sexy red. Um, but there. That's my... There we go. We found my one gripe. is just that the colors and the materials are a little bit on the dull matte side uh, rather than the nice, shiny, vibrant, metallic red that I would like to see. But we can tweak that. We can tweak that over. You can, you can tweak that on the shaders. You can tweak that on the materials you can tweak that on the textures as well so don't let that put you off but what I would say is don't feel like you need to get these to work with Cinti stuff because you think oh, what else would work on the asset store there's a lot of tune styled environments and characters out there that I think this pack would work beautifully with 
honestly, I think this pack would work stunningly with uh, with those packs out there. Let's pop back into the HDRP and have one last little run around in HDRP. So we've over 400 different parts that you get to customize your vehicles. I think imagination is going to be the only thing that's limiting you. So what am I going to do with this pack? Well, I need to make something fun with the kids. So we're going to do, let's do it on a live stream. Let's make a game, a uh, mobile friendly game because the kids are going to need to play it on their Kindle tablets where we're going to have uh, a scene that they can drive about in and they can customize and make vehicles and possibly drive them about and smash them up. So it needs to convert these vehicles to work with a vehicle asset controller from the asset store and we also need to get them working in uh, to be able to build and make them. I think that's the next thing to do. We're taking a little bit of a break from Chicken Taxi because we're having to, to rebuild some stuff in Chicken Taxi. But I think what we could do is utilize that from in here. Let's take what we've an idea from Chicky Taxi, a bit of this, mix them together and make a Chicky Hot Rod game. I think that's a great idea. Right, my beautiful badges. If you like these videos, you want to see more, click on that big juicy red subscribe button, red hot rod red subscribe button down below. Tell all of your friends that for just under thirty dollars and thirty euros on the Unity Asset Store, you can get hundreds and hundreds thousands of combinations actually because we have over 400 different modular parts you can make thousands upon thousands of variations of hot rods over on the unity asset store from slab and z so if you do like it click it till next time if you want to see more of my crazy videos click on the left side of your screen now and down below there's that big juicy subscribe button and right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it it will tell you if i've got a new video coming out until next time.